This restaurant-style prime rib roast recipe took years to formulate, says Barbara, the All Recipes member who submitted this recipe. It makes the most out of this cut of meat. It's perfect for any special occasion. Before you start, make sure that the roast is at room temperature. This can take as long as three hours depending on the size of the roast. This one is 14 pounds. This roast has been separated from the rib bones by the butcher to make carving easier later on, but we are going to tie the ribs back into place for roasting so we get that full bone-in flavor. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Line a roasting pan with aluminum foil. Place a 14-pound roast-ready prime rib roast into the roasting pan and blot it with paper towels so it's dry enough for the seasonings to adhere without sliding off. Next, to a small bowl, add 3 quarters of a cup of flour, 2 teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, 2 teaspoons of salt, 2 teaspoons of paprika, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of celery seed. Combine the flour and the seasonings together well. Apply to the roast on all sides, gently pressing the seasonings into the meat. Roast the prime rib in the preheated oven until it's cooked to your desired degree of doneness. While the recipe says 20 minutes per pound, many All Recipes members recommend 17 to 18 minutes per pound for medium rare. Use a thermometer. An internal temperature of 120 to 125 degrees for medium rare, 130 to 135 degrees for medium, or 140 to 145 degrees for well done the temperature will continue to rise a bit while the meat rests. When the roast has reached your desired doneness, transfer it to a cutting board and cover it with aluminum foil. Allow the roast to rest in a warm spot for 30 minutes to one hour before slicing and serving. I never knew how easy it was to make a yummy prime rib so good, says All Recipes member Jennifer Spates. Another member comments, the only problem was no leftovers. Absolutely heaven on a plate.